All right, good morning, everyone. It is currently 5.30 a.m. I think I'm probably the first person up in the whole group right now. There's about 28 of us, I think. Um, but I got up a little bit early so I can do a little bit of a workout. Uh, take a shower because most people took their shower last night, but I knew I was going to be working out this morning, so I was going to wait until today. Uh, and yeah, and it's also... A disaster in my tent so that's gonna take me a minute to clean up <laughs> absolutely gorgeous morning packing all the safari trucks. We're gonna be ready to go in about 15 minutes, but right now we're just eating breakfast. Uh, I got some coffee made, so we're all just gonna hang out for like probably the next 15 minutes before we head on out. Got a nice little breakfast set up here. All these different cereals. Thor and the open market. So we are on the bus right now for breakfast. Doesn't matter. They Just made me an Oryx and cheese sandwich. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, well they're chewables. I'm just so excited to start going and see everything. Good morning, Africa. The prison. You can catch me there later. Oh yeah, you can get a uh, free accommodation there. <laughs> <laughs> so right there is the SWAPO building. Their national headquarters. Very nice building. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Talk to you yeah? And when you are done, you can call me then. We'll talk tomorrow and make for you one. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
this type also. Some of ours. Oh really? Yeah. I think you like Oh wow. That's cool. That's so cool. Is that iron or fire? Iron wood. Better iron wood, just with handwork. I don't know. This one is not it's different to this one. This one is a this this wood is light to this one. I mean, this one is a, it's an urban wood. Mm -hmm. So this one is a strong wood. This one is an urban wood. Or a clay. Same. Yeah, like this one. Some like this one. Urban wood. This one. Guys, this one is an iron wood, something like that one I showed you. Let me try. Something like this one. I don't know. But this one, this one again, just the same like that one. It's an urban wood. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which one of the two is. It depends too. <laughs> This one, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a mokwa wood, mokwa wood, this one. Mm -hmm. This is the Forex. Oh, Forex. It's going all out, huh? I'm debating if I want these. I'm not sure. This is a Namibian map now. Um, I don't really have one. I think that's kind of bad. This, this <laughs> so, they're all good. Oh, I like them all. <laughs> this type it's a big five also. Elephant, rhino, leopard, oh the buffalo, and the lion. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so much stuff to choose from. Somebody. This is a Malakit stone. Malakit stone. But it's curved. Different kinds of it. Oh, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. So it's heavy and expensive stone. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. The ones in Namibia, so I have the Namibian map and the African map. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look at that side real quick. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go get more money. Oh my God, $2. you got a lot of cash? I might have to go with the truck to get more. I tried to purposely not bring a lot. Yeah, just negotiate hard. Yeah. I really like that. I really like that. Uh, How about an elephant ivory handled knife? Excuse me, Drew. Coming behind you. Okay. Pushman knife. What'd you get, Sophie? Anything? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, just with you. No problem. Here, I, I can do it for you. Yeah, I can do it for you. So the first one. Okay, where is it? 
you see this one, the one which is close, the next one. There. Okay. Yeah, yep. where's that guy in that? I'll, I'll be over there. All right. I can really... I'm uh, I'm ready to buy it now. You are ready now? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This one, too. Uh, this one is a Malakit stone. Ooh, it's a Malakit stone. Mm -hmm. It's a Malakit stone. Wait, uh, this one is a lion, lion, and a female lion. Yep. So that's good. Lion's my favorite animal. Let me just make it as for you. That's for the white. Uh, this one, like this one. Look at the top. I'm Oh, I can't face. I'm not even in front of it. Okay, we'll talk to my uncle. We'll talk to him. All right, okay, Malone. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this is Malachi. This is Malachi. This is wood. Yep. Do you want to make one price for everything? Yes. <laughs> Like this one or this one. In Namibian dollars or US dollar? Namibian. Let me make this. That for that? For everything. Oh, for everything? Yeah. That's a fair price because this piece um, is more than is more than six thousand that one. But okay, yeah, if that's the case then I'm gonna put if I'll put this back okay, then. Yeah, let's do like this. I'll put that back then and just, just do, let's do like this. You are the first good person. What would be your offer for everything? Your best offer. My best offer. Um, that's that's the Namibian dollars. Yep, and I'll I'll have to go grab more money out of the truck to pay for that as well. <laughs> you can pay with a card if you don't have enough credit card. What's that? You can pay with a card, credit card. No, I only I only have cash. No, you can. This how much for each now? These ones. What's that? How much for one? For you one? Yes. For so. I'd say. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. <laughs> Namibian dollars. Yep. So you want to pay like uh, five US dollar each piece, and then. 300 uh, together for these. Maurice, that one, wait a minute. Can come to the other side. That's mm -hmm. yeah. for all this, because this one is a, so you can, you can, you can even feel it for you. It's too heavy and it's the original stone. So you've got an Namibia for, okay, an Namibia map and this one. But my, my, my uncle said six, six, six or five hundred he gave me, but that one is a nice price, that one. Nice price, six, five, six thousand five hundred. It's a nice price, that one. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I said for this I could do six hundred, um, but I can put stuff back if not. Six hundred for this? Yeah, for, for this basket. I was going to put this back. Because this, this itself is too expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but for this, I can do 600. But I'll, I'll have to go and grab more cash. Um, but No, no problem. No problem. Uh, if you don't have cash, you can, we are having a swiping machine. You can swipe. I don't have a card. I, I only have cash. But oh. for this basket, I can do... Best I can do is 800 for this basket. Not, not 600, not 600, it's just more, 600, it's just more, just count the, the, the this one is a, this one is a, uh, iron wood, and this one, iron wood, this one is better, 
can only do with this. Iron wood, all this iron wood too. This mm -hmm. one are strong, this ones I'm telling you, this one so you can it can last for so long. Yeah. Yep. This one and there. For, for so long, so make a good price, not six hundred. Make a good price, at least. You tell me that now. Two thousand. Okay. For for all okay. this, so not this, oh. not not this. For these, I can do a thousand. That's the highest that I can go. <laughs> a th that, like that's 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 the line highest I can go. Is a thousand. How then? And that, that's really pushing it for me. Let me see, let me see. So, so this one, is, if I give you like this, because when I, when I, where I'm checking, when you give me a thousand, like these ones, some of them, okay, these ones, it's better I do it for myself. Like some of these ones, I don't do for myself. But when I am, when I, when I, I have to make sure that no, when you come back again, you can find again the same, the same item you have taken, which means I should have to, to buy it back. So again, when I, when you make a thousand, this one it's costing three hundred to order it. To order it. When you make a thousand, it's now becoming So it costs cheaper. you three hundred to order eight of these? Yeah. So, so just make... I think that a thousand for all this is a fair price then. No 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 if, no. if you can get eight of these for three hundred? No 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 no. Yes, I'm telling you like the small ones, the small ones like these ones. So let us talk now like a like business, this one, see, you can see these ones. These ones I used to make my hands use. Take, take time, my, my friend. Check. You can even feel pity of me. Take time of not a thousand. Make it, make, make two. Yeah, then make two is fine. I can't do two. It's uh, too high. Uh, I, it's, on, I can't. On, yeah, you, on. all right. You ready? Final offer. Right. Final offer. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. That's that's the best that I can do. One thousand. Two hundred. 1,200, yep. Uh, okay, like 1,800 is fine. I can't do it. 1,200, uh, 1, highest I can go. 1,800. No, they're still waiting. They're still there outside. Your friends, they're still there. Yes. Oh, I know. But 1,200, that's, that's the line. That's, that's double what I offered at the beginning. Ah, <laughs> come on, come on, feel pity for me. You are the one to help me, not, not me to help you. So you, you are helping me at least to get something. Oh, I, so I, I, I double, 1200 is the highest I can go. Okay, what, 15? That's a... 15, one, one, 1200 one, for me is a lot. One, 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 five. one what? 1,500 is fine. Yes, 1,300. 1, 1,500, then it's fine. That is, that is a good price for this all. It's a good, very good price for this. 1,300. No, 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 I gave you 1,500. That one, one uh, that one is a good price, that one I gave. If you... If you... If I put this one, would you like this one also? 1,400. <laughs> 1,400. Uh, not 1,400. Then now I put this one. Make 1,500 because this one I buy it from 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 Zambez region. Whereas I need to pay for the transport for this one. I need to pay for the transport to come here. So at least for this one now make 1,800. 1, 1,400. 1,800. 800. Yeah. You said 1,500. Okay, not 1,500. All right, 1,500. Okay. I gotta go, I have to go grab cash though. Yeah, I'm done, my green. Uh, oh, you're done? Yep. Awesome. Very hard like stone. Yep. All right. The whole group they bought. I'm gonna go uh, grab some cash. All right, uh, can you do 200? I'm saying this, everyone, even they pay everyone, but for one, it was like this, 350 for one. But then they decide, everyone of that guy, he said, 200 each. Right, I'm going gonna, gonna to be right back, okay? Yeah, no, just take a long, don't worry. I, I, I have to go grab money. Yeah, don't worry, just go. All there. Okay. All right, have a go. Okay. 
This work? Oh, man. Everyone is got one dog each. It was 350 each. This is something very special. It's very hard. That is too little, my friend, to be honest. I can't, I can't do 200 each. Let's make 200 each, my friend. Shall I get that? What's that? 200 each. I can do, I can do 150 each. Okay, do it three, but don't tell your friends. All right. Yes. All right. Here's... Every, yeah, because everyone you take to my foot. So we just got out of the little wood carving market in Okahanja. Everyone got a bunch of stuff. I got a lot of wood carved stuff. It's really great because all the money is going towards the local people. So that's really great rather than just going to one of the big souvenir shops. Um, so that was just really cool to see. Look on both sides. We're coming up on a baboon. Oh, there's a, one on the left side right there. Look at that. Mountain. Termite mounds everywhere. Huge herd of cows right here. Oh, that's a lot of cows. All the babies. Lots of cows. I am the cameraman. <laughs> so we're here at Super Spar, the supermarket here in Namibia. So we're inside the supermarket right now. Got all these different meats. Beef. Chicken. We got lamb, pork. So this is a really popular thing in Namibia, biltong. It's kind of like a jerky. Here we go, walking back. What way are we walking? I got biltong, I got some magazines, I got pill charts. So this is a Herrero lady with a little hat. Angelina dresses like like that when she's going fancy. All right. Tea. I got so much biltong. Oh yeah. It's it's normal, but I got like. I got Elin, Kudu, Springbok, Gemsbok. You better eat it all here, you can't bring it home. I even got the, the Bowers stick, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. That's like a sausage stick. So I just got back from the supermarket. I got a bunch of stuff. I, of course, I needed to snag a Red Bull. And great that they sell that here. Also got a bunch of jerky. We got Gemsbok Biltong. Some Kudu Biltong. I got some Springbok Biltong. And some Eland Biltong. And I don't really know how pronounce it but I got a drawer stick you got it for 50 other people made 200 all right I'm up in the front with our driver T I'm gonna be sitting up here with him for along this drive so we're gonna become really good friends oh, yeah. <laughs> <I found him. laughs> all right <laughs> I'm gonna give the 
drawers. Did I say that right? Dr drivers. Drivers. All right. We're gonna give the drivers a good old try right now. Do you want any of this? Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to pinpoint the flavor. It tastes similar. It tastes like some kind of sausage back in the States. It's not bad at all. It tastes pretty good. Cheetah Conservation Fund. <laughs> Alright, we're here. You're in the gift shop. Walking through the Cheetah Conservation Fund. How are we doing, y'all? It's good. It's hot. <laughs> it's definitely hot. I left my... Oh, cheetah. There is a cheetah. I can see it. There's a cheetah in there. There's actually two cheetahs. Look at that. Awesome. Got some goats. As well as a guard dog. It is an adorable dog right there. All right, it is time for lunch. So right now our lunch is being prepared. How are we doing, T? We're doing super awesome. Just um, sorting out some um, fresh lunch for you guys. As you can see, we're busy cutting cucumbers here. Uh, Mr. T, sorting out some tomatoes. Um, then I'll be shredding this lettuce. Just so we can have something in our tummy. <laughs> Awesome. So I am eating a cheese dog for lunch today, prepared by our wonderful truck drivers. So spicy. We've got some bones right here. I have no clue what they are. My professor is guessing. Rhino bones? Uh, this is an area where you will spend a better part of your activities for those two days. Uh, you will be moving to certain parts, but 
The purpose of this orientation is just to keep you orientated with where you will be moving around through the course of these two days. So this is our our main center. Uh, you are up there at our cafe or the gift shop, which we have like we have a cafe and a gift shop in the back where the guests normally meet and people just normally sit. So that's sort of like the cafe area, the gift shop area. So when you hear, oh, we are meeting up at the gift shop, it's right there on that day. Uh, at your back, we've got this long strip of doors. Brown doors are public toilets. It's correct. Okay. Uh, so those are public toilets. And that's what you can also use throughout also time with your gear. Uh, we will just go and show you this area here. This will be our education center or our conservation museum. And we will also go inside there to a bit of a talk about the here. Uh, I will just I want to show you where we keep our captive uh, non-releasable non -releasable cheetahs. So we will uh, this block is here okay. where we have our office space, uh, tourism offices, education offices, ecology offices are based in this block. So this over here is going to be a non-releasable cheetah. We'll be feeding them tomorrow. Oh, All right, who's got the word? From this age and upwards, if we get a cheetah here that's a month old or two weeks or three weeks old, that's unfortunately a non releasable cheetah. Why? Due to the fact that that cat would be having such a huge bond with, or not necessarily a bond, but we would be 24-7 guarding over the children, looking after it, raising it, making sure it's eating, making sure it's healthy. So there would be a, an immense habituation happening with this cheetah as it's growing up. And that also would put the cheetah into a non releasable sort of phase. Because we as humans cannot actually teach the cheetah how to hunt, but we can provide the environment for the cheetah to relearn the skills that <coughs> it was been taught by mom before it got cut off from her. Right. So if this cheetah has come here one month, it has never seen a leopard, it has never seen a hyena, uh, how would it know that that is a threat to its life? whereby a cheetah that was exposed to a hyena, that was exposed to a threat, a leopard can, would have much more a stronger uh, 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 idea of those are dangerous and I should not get close to them or I should not try to fight them off. So those are the categories that cheetahs are able to come here or be non-releasable. Some cheetahs come here as pets where people have raised them up and, and, and they cannot look after them anymore and they would let the state know and the state would confiscate or the state would be informed that there is people raising cheetahs up as pets and they would go and do confiscations mm -hmm. and unfortunately that by that time the damage has already been done because that cheetah might be two or three years with this specific family and it has no clue on, on but you find the special cheetahs those cheetahs that just like poof, really just goes into that wild mode again but it's it's not, it's not very high. Yeah, so those are... Hello! Hi! Hi! So now we are inside and we are going to watch a film. Ooh, 
Now we are in the Cheetah Conservation Fund Museum. This is their vision statement. We see a world in which cheetahs live and flourish in coexistence with people and the environment. So we've got a bunch of different skulls here. Got the red heart beast, some springbok. Up there is an oryx. Some greater kudu, lesbok, steenbok, a warthog, eland. So these are the collars I believe that some of the cheetahs wear. What is that? Does it show anything? Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like their vision, but they just like look like across the way. Oh, actually, yeah. I can see all the way where Rika is. Oh, wow. So many of you can find information about your projects, I would... Oh, here we have an entire cheetah skeleton. Even Julia with bush blocks here. And right here is a stuffed cheetah. Showing the difference between a leopard and a cheetah. So this is the lineage of felines. of the world's wild cheetahs live in Namibia. Oh wow. So this is showing how their population has decreased over the years. So warm. Yeah, stretch. That's not at all what I thought it was gonna be like. Probably good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so my tent is all set up. I've got all my stuff in my tent. So last night it was pretty luxurious <laughs> compared to what the rest of the trip's gonna look like. So this is my tent, and this is where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. So this is definitely gonna be adjustment from what I'm used to, but we'll see how it goes. Look for snakes. <laughs> this one and that one. Yeah. Oh, this one. Those are your 
This one is coming up here. That's her my bound. <laughs> Look at that. It's supposed to be. Yep. Rock hard, just like cement. So now we are walking to the top of this really high hill. So we are not even at the top, and it's just already an amazing view up th out there. Um, you can't access oh, it from this side. So this honestly is a pretty intense hike. But it's pretty cool to just be able to look around, see everything. Lots of rocks, though. Hey, Absolutely. Come on, you're just you're incredible. Looking, you're looking, you're looking where you're going. It's the whole trip. My name is Lauren. This is Namibia. This is the weather. It's hot, but it's great, and it's awesome. And you should all come here. Do you have your camera? Fire! Woo! <laughs> Oh, there's no display. Cameraman can't, can't figure out his camera. This Just isn't my camera. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Dr. Conroy. This is Namibia, Africa. We're looking at the Waterberg National Park just outside of Ochiwarongo. I'm here with 26 UNH students, and we are having the time of our lives in Animal Science 690. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> sunrise. <laughs> All right, Iron Chef Tanache. What do we got? Doing? How are you doing? Fabulous. How are you? I'm super awesome. Just busy inventing food. Inventing food? <laughs> inventing food, yeah. What are we inventing today? So, um, what we making for you guys tonight, um, we're doing barbecue. So we have some lamb chops, not on this section. Um, which are over that side. But here, we're pretty much making some salad. So tomatoes, cutting as well, some uh, cucumbers, lettuce mix. So nice green salad. So that will go as well with um, corn on the cob that is cooking on the fire. Um, then the last thing we're gonna do is braai in Afrikaans, more to say barbecue. So we barbecue lamb chops plus beef sausage. Awesome. Yes. So we're gonna have a feast tonight. Yeah, we are. Oh, Thank you. And so over here, we've got the no, 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 the meat, the lamb chops, the um, corn on the cob is cooking. Hi, hi, Maroon. So what do we got over here today? What is it? What do we got over here? Me, I am just for prepare, prepare for dinner. Yep. Yeah. We have three pot here. One is for potato. Two is for potato. The break one is for sweet corn. And the other one, this one is for veggie. All right. Yeah. And then we have some barbecue there, some ram chops and some the kudu horse. All right. Yeah. It's what we have for tonight. Awesome. Thank you. So right now we are cooking the lamb chops as well as the sausage. <laughs> All right, so for tonight's meal, we got some kudu sausage right there. We got lamb chops, as well as some potatoes and corn. Looks so, so good, and I am ready to dive in. I'm also drinking some Vinduk drought beer. Uh, we bought these while we were at Urban Camp because uh, you, they don't sell alcohol on Sundays here, so when we were at the supermarket, we weren't able to buy any, so we kind of just stock, stocked up before we left urban camp for the next few nights. All right, let's give this food a try. We're gonna start with the kudu sausage. Okay, that's pretty good. It's a little spicy, yeah, that's actually really good. Now we're gonna try the lamb chops. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's so good, that's so good. And 
then it just stopped. Like, 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 the light. Like, the light. Like, 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 civilization. I, it's like, I had to buy two like, 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 Alright. Now I'm going to be trying the Eland Biltong. You want any? I tried it. The Eland built on? So there's there's the place. Well, I don't like jerky again, at home. Another place I still tried it. Mm. Do you like jerky at home? I love jerky. Yeah, that's it's so freaking high tech. Like someone at a computer screen. If you said, well, I really that's like so to good. see like a hand. That is so things. good. They're like, they have Tom weird shit okay. or chipped every animal. And they can tell you where they what are. What is it made out of? of? Eland. <laughs> What's Eland? Including aardvarks. Including like big snakes. No, but it's One of so the, like, the animals that yeah, we so see. It's so <laughs> like, they literally it's good. Like, is How do they it, do that? Because the snakes don't stay in the fences. Well, they put all these animals in. <laughs> what so do they, you like, think? Track them like people were tracking their luggage tags. It tastes like the last one he gave me. I think he gave you. He gave you game and beef. So my wife. I had one of his. Know, Which one? Was it the spicy one? one? Yeah. yeah well, we have, like, that was the beef one. Big, like, so what is this? Rock this is just regular and, eland. Know, like 15 feet long. Let me, let me see where they are. Oh. Drew, do you want some eland? I am so full. Okay. Like, I, I mean, I do eat good stuff, but I usually have, like... All right, well, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a wrap on video so, for today. We're just hanging out here by the fire. Um... So we're going to be here having a good time, but that's going to be all the videoing for today, and I will see you all in the morning for an African sunrise.